Hi, welcome to Teach Me Software. So I'm going to show you how to make a simple drop-down list in a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Uh, there's a lot of different reasons you'd want to do this, and I've just made up a little example here. We've got some employees' names. We want to know what their home state is, and we want to know whether they're willing to relocate. Say we're opening up a new facility in another state, we want to find out which employees from around the country would be willing to relocate to this new facility. So we're going to start out with a simple one first. Willing to relocate is just going to be a simple yes or no answer. The home state, obviously, you're going to have a choice of 50 states in the United States. So on the, we'll do the simple one first. So first thing you want to do is you want to highlight the cell that you want to do. And there's two ways to do it. You can put it in one cell and then copy that information to every cell. But it, the easier way to do it is just highlight all the cells in your spreadsheet that you want to have this drop-down menu fall into. And then you come up here and you select data. I'm already on data, but you select data across the top and then data validation and then data validation again. So you're going to, oh, it's going to open up under settings. If you're not on settings, hit settings. And then where it says allow and it defaults to any value, you just choose list. And then your source is where your answers are going to be. So we just want to type in the word yes, comma, space, no. And you can put as many answers as you want, just a comma space, comma space. You could say yes, no, maybe. We'll go ahead and just do that. We'll put yes, no, and maybe on there. So maybe they're considering it. They want more information or something. So we'll put three choices in there. So you hit OK. And now when you come in here, you got the little drop down. So you got yes, no, maybe. So we're going to say yes or no on that one. Yes. And maybe, so there's all of our choices. So we've got our drop down menus in all of these cells now. So this one here, if we were to go back and do that one, say if you went to data and data validation and you click list, well, you're going to have to type out all 50 states in here. You don't want to do that. So what I've done, we're going to hit cancel on that. And so what I've done is I've made a second sheet on my workbook and I have a list of all the 50 states. And I just found this off the internet, copied and pasted it in here. So I have all 50 states here. So we go back here, and now we want to make this drop-down list include all 50 of those states in each cell. So you highlight all those again, make sure you're in data, and then data validation. Data validation again. This is all the same up to this next step here. So you click less list again, and then this part right here, you click and source. And you have to click this first. And then you come over here and you select your other file or your other uh, spreadsheet inside your workbook where your list is at. And then you highlight all the cells that contain the information that you want. And it puts all those in there. And you hit OK. And now when you come back here, all your states. Say they're from Colorado. Let's say Susan Wilson is from Texas. Oh, I did that backwards. That's okay, though. Let's say they're from Arkansas. So now we have a drop-down list with all the states in here. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, two different ways to do it. If you've got a big list, you come down here and you make a separate file at the end of your workbook, and that contains your data. And then you can also, uh, one other thing I'll show you real quick. Let's just say, oh, let's just say that you wanted Texas to be TX. You wanted to do it with abbreviation and you change that. Once you've set this spreadsheet up to have that, you come in there and look now. You update that and it will automatically update what's in your list. And so now Texas has changed to an abbreviation. So it works really well. A uh, simple way to do it over here. If you just have a few answers, if you got a lot, then you make another entry on the, the end of your workbook that has all your uh, data in it and then just copy it in there. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. Please like, please share, please subscribe. Thank you.